So the War and Fire Stairs Handicap is next then. We have a 205 furlongs, 0 to 95. Uh, top one is Dicey Oss for Obi-Wan, Till Leslie Carter against a gold lonesome for Derek Hinton, Force 10 for Kevin Renahan, Point of Interest for Alex Cherry, Frosty Verluga, Darren Howes, Rum C for Doug Warren, Dieppe for James Follis, and Cap Door Silver for Doug Warren. So just nine of them then, 37 times around the Kempton track. And all installed, and away they go. And Till Leslie is the first to show. Let's hope some of these jockeys don't get dizzy. And two miles or five furlongs on the all weather. It's round we go and round we go again and round we go again. And then one more time for luck. So Dieps in the lead then. From Gold Lonesome, Capital C and Rum C. Well, that's Capital Silver. Actually, Silvers and C's and things for Doug, but the leading four. Pretty much in a lot. I think Derek Hinton's got some flashy new colours from somewhere. Well, he's obviously pink and he's got some some black and white in there this year as well. Uh, Dieppe's in the lead. From Capdoor Silver in second and Rumsey is third. Gold Lonesome is fourth. And a gap back to Force 10, Frosty Valuga. And point of interest, Tell Leslie and finally Dicey Oss. So past the winning post then for the first time. Keep count how many times we go around. I reckon it's going to be three. Two more complete circuits to go, I think. And it's Dieppe in the lead then. From Capdoor Silver and Rum C. Gold Lonesome. There's a gap then of about eight lengths. To the rest of them have a little race of their own. We're headed by Tell Leslie. And Frosty Voluga. Force 10. Point of interest. And finally, Dicey Oss. Only one. Want to get another winner after his 1 2. The earlier race. Dieppe is in the lead by about three quarters of a length. Capdoor Silver in second. The gap of a length or so then to Rum C. Tell Leslie getting a bit close to the two packs beginning to merge as they pass the one and a half. Mile marker soon, quite got there yet. Dieppe's in front. Capdoor Silver, Rum C, Gold Leslie, Gold Leslie, Gold Lonesome. So Dieppe's in the lead. I saw Duggan still having a good laugh at me getting this one. Two mile five furlongs on the all weather. It's. Well, there's not a lot going on either. Um, this would have been a good race to about 32 runners in or something. I don't know. Thankful there's not just three of them, probably. But Dieppe's in the lead then from Capdoor Silver in second on the outside of Gold Lonesome. And Tell Leslie's moved up on the inside of Rum C. Then a little gap to Force 10 as they come up past the stand again. And passing the winning post, and they've got just one more circuit to go. In this marathon stairs race, it's not a qualifier for anything, this one either, I don't think it's just a. Straight up, ordinary race. Uh, Dieppe's in the lead. Gold, Lonesome and Capdoor Silver. Tell Leslie Brumsey and Force 10. That's now a leading group of six. It's a gap of about two to three lengths. Then to Frosty, Voluga, Dicios and Point of Interest. Who are the back three, but they're not that far detached. And got plenty of time to still get into the leading group. That's six and a half furlongs to go. Old Lonesome has just about poked his head in front, I think, from Dieppe. Rumsey looks to be going well, but it's going to need a little bit of a split. Then comes Tell Leslie, Force 10, come around the outside. Capdoor Silver's just hit a bit of a flat spot, and a back three are now beginning to merge into the rest of the field. It's going to be just one big group of the three at the back come out in unison and come around the outside to challenge. So then four and a half furlongs to go. Dieppe's just back in the lead again. Gold Lonesome is second, then it's three and a line, and then after that, virtually four and a line. So two, three, four we go at the moment as we go past the four furlong ball, and Dieppe's in the lead. Dieppe by half a length to Gold Loads have been second. Then comes Rumsey on the inside of Tell Leslie. Force 10 still appears to be going well. Point of interest is making some good ground from the back. Capdoor Silver's the only one who looks really beaten, but it's Dieppe in the lead. Dieppe being impressed again by Gold Lonesome. And these two have suddenly put three or four lengths between themselves and the rest of the field. And Gold Lonesome and Dieppe are oh, they pulling away. The one that's trying to run on from the back is Dicey Oss, but it's Gold Lonesome in front from Dieppe. 
Here comes Dicios on the outside, absolutely eating up the ground as a front and a half to go. And it's Gold Lonesome in the lead from Diet, but Dicios looks to be going best of all there. Here's Gold Lonesome, Diet and Dicios. It's all from inside the final and a half foot and then Gold Lonesome in front, but here comes Dicios and Dicios swoops and takes it up. And a perfect ride by the jockey on Dicios. It's a good day for Obi Wan and Sirius G takes it. Dicios the winner. Gold Lonesome is second, Diet's third, then Tell Lesbian fourth, Ten and one C. Capital Silver was last. And the writing was on the wall in the final furlong and a half. Dicios was just eating up the ground and takes it off. Top weight as well for Obi Wan. Gold loans from second for Derek Hinton. Dieppe for James Fullis. Third, Tell Leslie for Carla Agante. Fourth and fourth, ten for Kevin Minahan was fifth.